This is Adam Trigger from wagertalk.com, and here is what you need to know about Notre Dame NC State Week 2 college football on Saturday afternoon. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel, and we can keep bringing you videos like this all year long. Notre Dame NC State. So, for me, it's tough to take a ton away from the uh, 2-0 Notre Dame start. They, they blew out Navy in a game that was never close, and they came back and did the same thing against FCS Tennessee State this past weekend. However, the market, the betting market, seems to think that Notre Dame is going to roll into Cardi Friendly Stadium this weekend and do the same thing to NC State. And I don't know if I agree with that. NC State, my takeaway there from their first game against UConn on last Thursday night, the opening night of, of week one, was that they probably could have won by more than 10. The Wolfpack won that game 24-14 in a game where I feel like they kind of controlled. They dominated on the stat sheet. They didn't turn the ball over. And really, they allowed two big plays to UConn, which which went for 14 points, both touchdowns. Um, outside of that, I thought the defense uh, played, played well. If I'm looking at the Notre Dame side, obviously the rave reviews are in. Sam Hartman, he's played great. Notre Dame play, has played great, and the Irish are, are back. But you know what? Sam Hartman struggled against NC State last year when he was on Wake Forest. His Wake Forest Demon Deacons lost that game, and that was against an NC State defense that was pretty banged up. It was later in the season uh, when NC State was dealing with some, some big-time injury issues, and NC State still won that game. So I, I actually think that this, this number might be a little high here. You know, you got Notre Dame. They're one of the few teams in the country that's going to be playing their third game of the year. They, of course, were one of the few teams that played week zero. They came back and played week one, and now they have to play a week two game in a true road spot down in Raleigh. Uh, that would be not as big of a deal, but remember, they opened the season all the way over in Ireland. Um, so quite a bit of travel now. Ireland, back home to play the, the, the Tennessee State game, and now down to Carter-Finley Stadium to play NC State. So I think it might be a, a tough spot for them as well. On the NC State side, I still think their offense is going to take a step forward. Robert and I was the offensive coordinator for Virginia in 2021 with Brennan Armstrong, that historically good Virginia offense. And he actually came up here to Syracuse, New York, where I'm from, and turned around the Syracuse offense last year, made that orange offense much more productive than anyone expected them to be. So now that he's down at NC State with Brennan Armstrong, his old quarterback, I think that there's no any, I think it's only going to be upward uh, for NC State from here. I think they probably could have gotten more offensively out of the UConn game, but it was their first game. And now they're at home. And I think the offense continues to take a step forward. And, and if all that is going to happen, then the only thing that could happen here is NC State covering the number in this game. So I like NC State plus the seven and a half points. I wouldn't be surprised if they won the game. And if you like the content, please click on the videos on your screen for other week two college football and week one NFL action. And check me out at wagertalk.com and on Twitter at TopFlightSI.